In this video, I'm going to be sharing the best process for installing the latest AMD graphics drivers for your ROG Alloy or ROG Alloy X and setting up and configuring AMD's Fluid Motion Frames 2.1. And I'll be guiding you step by step on how to safely uninstall previous drivers and install the new ones alongside blocking windows from updating over them for good. So before we get started, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share this video with others. From our Windows desktop, let's open our web browser and come over to the Display Driver Uninstaller website that I've linked in the description. Here, we want to scroll down to Download Mirror and we want to download DDU to our Downloads folder. Afterwards, we need to access AMD's Driver Support page where we can scroll down until we find the following list and we need to choose Processors, Ryzen, Ryzen 7000 series and from the list here we want to scroll down to Ryzen 7 7840U. Select this and choose submit. On the next page we want to access Windows 11 64-bit edition. Let's scroll down and we want to download this one AMD Software Adrenaline Edition 25.3.1 772 megabytes in size. Select download and download this to your downloads folder. Next we want to come over to our downloads folder and we want to extract the DDU zip file like so by selecting extract all and extract and once this folder appears we want to select the top one 7-zip DDU and we want to go ahead and press extract and then inside this folder we'll see display driver on installer Let's open this and once open for the first time we'll see this prompt appear. Go ahead and press OK and then when we scroll down we've got prevent downloads of drivers from Windows Update enabled. We can close this. We'll get a warning that we're not in safe mode but it's fine so we're going to press OK. We're going to select device type, choose GPU and then we're going to choose clean and restart. And now DDU is going to thoroughly clean our ROG Allies drivers. And once complete, we'll restart back into Windows. Once we're back in Windows and on the desktop, let's access our web browser and come over to the media file link that I have placed in the description for a program called Woo Show Hide, which stands for Windows Updates Show Hide. And download this to your downloads folder. In our downloads folder, let's run Wu Show Hide, and on the box that appears, we want to go ahead and press Next and wait for this process to finish. And once complete, we're going to select Hide Updates. And from the list, we want to choose these three Advanced Micro Devices. We're going to choose Media, Display, and System and press Next. And now, Wu Show Hide is going to block Windows from ever updating our graphics drivers. And once completed, we're going to see that the problems found were fixed. And let's go ahead and press close. And in our downloads folder, let's run the AMD Software Adrenaline Edition that we downloaded earlier. And now the AMD software is going to populate all of the required files into our C drive. And once complete, the installer will fail, which is what we want. So we're going to drag this window up and press close. And afterwards, we want to hold press on the start menu and choose device manager. And from the list, let's go to display adapters and we'll see Microsoft Basic display adapter. Let's hold press and choose update driver. Here, we want to choose browse my computer for drivers. Let me pick from a list of available drivers and then choose have disk. On this prompt that appears, we're going to go ahead and choose Browse. We're going to go to this PC. We're going to go to our C drive. And then we're going to go inside the AMD folder, AMD Software Installer, Packages, Drivers, Display, WT6AINF. And then we're going to select this numbered file here, ending in .inf. Choose this and press OK. And from the list of models that appear, we're going to scroll down 
until we find AMD Radeon TM 780M graphics. Let's select this and choose next, followed by yes. And now our drivers will be installed. Once the installation is completed, let's go ahead and press close. And just for a moment, let's hold press on our graphics driver, press properties, go on the driver tab, and we can see our driver date is 25th February 2025, alongside our driver version. Let's go ahead and press OK, close the window, and once the driver is installed, we need to install AMD Adrenaline. So, from this PC, let's go to the C drive, AMD, AMD Software Installer, Packages, Drivers, Display, WT6A-INF, and we want to go inside this numbered folder here, B413137, and we want to scroll down until we see Triple C2 Install. We want to run this and wait for the process to complete, where AMD Adrenaline is now going to be installed. Once the installer finishes, let's go ahead and press close and close this window. And now we want to restart our ROG alloy. So let's hold press on the start menu and choose restart. Once our ROG alloy restarts and we're back on our desktop, let's go to this PC and go inside our C drive. And we want to go inside the program files folder on its own. And we want to go inside AMD. We want to go inside the C next folder. C next again, and here we want to scroll down until we find Radeon software. And what I like to do is hold press on Radeon software, choose show more options, and choose pin to taskbar. So now I have Radeon software on my taskbar, and when we open this for the first time, we can go ahead and choose skip this. And once loaded, we'll see our driver version is 25.3.1 at the time of recording and the date of your driver. So let's go on the gaming tab, let's go on graphics, and when we scroll down, we can see that we have all of these graphics options available to us, such as super resolution, AMD fluid motion frames 2.1, anti lag, boost, chill, and much more. And if we want to set a hotkey, for AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2.1, we can go ahead and click on the cog symbol, go to hotkeys, and when we scroll down, we can see that toggle AFMF 2.1 is Alt, Shift, and G. And we can assign this by pressing the right Armory Crate button. And once Armory Crate loads, we're gonna select the cog symbol, and then we're gonna go to Control Mode and choose Configure, and then under gamepad mode, we'll choose configure. And here on our button mapping screen, we're going to choose M1, which is the back left button on our ROG alloy. So select this, and here we'll see primary button. We're gonna choose edit. And once this screen loads, we're gonna choose combine keys. And on our first macro, we're gonna choose edit. And here we're gonna choose alt, Shift and G. And make sure it's the left alt, left shift and G key. Once that's done, let's press B for back and go ahead and select the macro like so. And now you should see M1 primary button macro 01 like so. So when we press back, we'll see that macro 01 is applied. So after your key combination is complete, we want to go back to the AMD Adrenaline software, and we want to go to the Performance tab, and here we want to click on Overlay, and choose Enable Metrics Overlay, like so. You'll see the FPS appear, and we can see the Metrics Overlay in my game of Final Fantasy 16, and right now I'm getting around 50 to 60 FPS in this area. And when I press M1 on the back of the ROG alloy, we can see AFMF 2.1 is now active and my FPS in the top right hand corner for the metrics overlay has gone up to 100 FPS. Turn the camera, a bit of ghosting on the sword of the character, input lag, 
feels fine because we're getting around 50 to 60 FPS with AFMF applied. So if you enjoyed this guide and learned something new today, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share this video with others. As always, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll try my best to get back to you. Until next time, have a wonderful day, look out for one another and I'll see you later.